So here's a stain that you see every day, an immunohistochemical chemical stain for Helicobacter pylori, with some very distinct stain here, here, and there. Uh, here's the image on higher power. Uh, very distinct staining. Looks very bacillary, rather an irregular outline, though. But you'll also notice that it does seem to be intracellular, doesn't it? Notice that it does seem... And here's that other form. This is uh, visible as a dot. It's, again, intracellular, but it's a coccoid form and not a bacillary form. And so the question I have for you guys is, is this real staining? Would you call this immunohistochemical stain for Helicobacter pylori positive? Or do you think this is an artifact? So this staining might appear fake to you, but it isn't fake. This is genuine staining. Don't ignore it. But what I did not show you in that original image is, is there are these classic luminal-based organisms deep within the crypts of the stomach. This is something that you often see in patients with long-term PPI usage. Here's that slide on higher power showing these classic seagull-shaped forms. Returning to these so-called intracellular organisms, you can sometimes observe these irregular bacillary or coccoid forms, and these are indeed real. This morphological change in the organism is as a result of stress, such as long-term PPI usage. And although these appear intracellular, they are not intracellular. They are actually found between the cells. And this paper highlights, this is from our group, a seminal paper that we published many years ago, which defines these unusual bacillary forms these coccoid forms. And the takeaway on this paper is do not ignore these forms. These are real, and these patients need to be treated for Helicobacter pylori organisms.